for your kitchen remodel, bath remodel, or chic kitchen cabinet refacing project, trust John Hagee Remodeling, Restoration, and Construction, building excellence for over 40 years. Visit johnhagee.com. We're talking about the Memphis uh, Police Department and how the Scorpion Unit 5 black male officers uh, have now been charged. Uh, they've been fired and charged in the beating death. Uh, Tyree Nichols was beaten to a pulp and then died three days later uh, in the hospital. Two other sheriff's deputies are now being investigated. Reaction pouring in. Uh, Joe Biden's reaction was entirely predictable, uh, and uh, but yet he managed to gaff it up pretty good. I was really pleased that she called for no peaceful protest, no, no violence, no movement at all. I, I was surprised. I was uh, pleased that she called for no, no peaceful, peaceful protest. Um, okay, well, that's. Uh, but then he went into. Uh, he injected race into it. Um, and the, the mother oh, of Tyree Nichols. You have five black guys being up a black guy. Yeah, well, it's, and this is what uh, Representative Kami Bush said and Van Jones and, and other on the radical left saying it's even though the cops were black, they work for a white supremacist system of policing. Uh, so until we completely tear down the police department, and uh, she's actually calling for civilian traffic control. That'll end really well. Uh, the mother of Tyree Nichols, I understand she's in grief and mourning, so I'll give her a pass. But she said, I hate it was five black men that did this. Uh, I hate that any uh, person would do this, and especially wearing a police officer's yeah. uniform. Uh, President Trump condemned the fatal beating of Ty Tyree Nichols, saying, I thought it was terrible. He was in such trouble. He was just being pummeled. That should never have happened. He said, watching the Nichols scream for his mother was a very sad moment, as it really struck me as well. Uh, and he goes, that, that was really the point that got me the most, to be honest with you, said Trump, regarding that. The Obamas weighed in, calling for police reform after the release of the Tyree Nichols body camera footage, and they linked to Black Lives Matter uh, something called the, their toolkits. I mean, the take to the streets and so on and so forth. The Memphis uh, PD has now disbanded the Scorpion unit, uh, which was designed to stop. And Memphis is a horrifically violent city. It's it's as bad, if not worse, than Baltimore in some aspects. So now that uh, people are going to suffer in Memphis by allowing criminals to run yeah. wild in the streets because of the actions of five uh, rogue uh, police officers. And I guarantee you this, uh, they aren't trained to do this. Uh, they, they defy their training. And I think this needs to be said regarding all of this. I think that the defund the cops movement in the post George Floyd era uh, has demoralized police departments. It has demoralized police recruits. And I think they're not getting the best and the brightest. That's obvious. You have five police officers knowing knowing they're wearing body cameras, and they went and they did this anyway. I don't think, you, know, you got to start, uh, it's, it seems to me that some police departments are, are scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're lowering their standards now because they've got uh, numbers to fill. The vacancies in police departments, including Baltimore, like 500 officers down, you know, when you start lowering the standards uh, of, uh, of police re candidates and police recruits, uh, I think we're seeing the results of that now in, in some aspects in the streets of America. Well, it's interesting because only a couple of them were actually hired following uh, the uh, George Floyd death and the degrading of police capacity. Uh, the uh, Bean and Haley, they got hired by the department in 2020, which was two years after the department lowered education required to join the force. But the other three uh, have been on the force for some time. Yeah. Uh, they were hired ahead of time. That, that doesn't mean that yeah. they hadn't lowered the standards uh, right. previously, yeah. uh, because, it, uh, you know, let's face it, it's been around for a long time. But uh, the, hearing the way that these guys were talking, uh, the language, um, again, look, I've never been a cop, and I know what it, I don't know what it feels like to be threatened. There was at one point during one of the videos, the uh, one of the officers said um, he went for my gun. Well, there's no, I didn't see any video evidence of that. It doesn't mean it didn't exist, but I didn't see any evidence. Of, uh, of him going for a gun. And we didn't see any evidence of the so-called reckless driving. But once the guy is down on the ground, once he has been restrained, once he's in handcuffs, it's over. Yeah, The struggle is over. I understand yeah, yeah. he ran once. Uh, and, and that angers and, and frustrates and aggravates the situation. But once he has been physically restrained, it is over. There is no excuse. No excuse no. whatsoever 
uh, to treat him the way they did. And now, of course, I you know, their families, everybody's uh, families have been affected by this. Yeah, I have more on this, by the way, coming up on a couple of minutes. Uh, the, uh, there are indications that they were not hired through the normal hiring process. That's what I thought. Yeah, I suspected yeah. that. And then you could see in the training that I know, the officers that I know, and I would never have be behaved like this, uh, they completely defied all their training, all of it, all of it.